Hi, I am Dr. Mani here. So today we are going to discuss about uh, something unique topic called uh, designer babies or technically it is called as the uh, advancement of genetic engineering. Okay, what is it? We all know that we know 40, we have 46 chromosomes in our body in a human body. But these 46 chromosomes are have millions of genes and each and every genes are assigned with specific task. Okay, so some genes are say for example first chromosome first gene it might be deal about the person's height or the 10th chromosome 10th gene might be deal about the person's angry level something like that there are different tasks are assigned so how do we know this so there was a project called human genome project it was started by uh, all the global countries uh, centered in london by the global doctors it is called human genome projects it was started in the year 2000 in that they came to know that they have taken the, all the racial uh, blood samples from the different countries starting from africa or europe or indians or Chinese, like that six racial group, the major uh, racial groups of the hu world humanity, they collected their blood samples and those blood samples are perfectly arranged and the human genome was completely mapped. So in that, the uniquely they come to know that 99.9% .9 of the entire humanity, they have the unique pattern of the same pattern of genome mapping. That means what? So these, uh, the results of the human genome projects can be commercially utilized in the future. So how it can be utilized it? Say for example, uh, one family person, uh, he is uh, normally, they, they normally call it as a medical condition called dwarfism. So the people, those who grow only for a three feet or a four feet, that is called a dwarfism. Suppose if you got married, if you want to have a kid, that kid should grow normally as a six feet tall or a five and a half feet tall. So what he has to do? So he can go for a something called in a future, right now this medical technology is not available, but the scientists are expecting it. Very soon it's going to be launched in a commercial market. So what they are claiming is that person he can go for the designer baby. He can design the baby with the help of experts. How he can do that? He need to take the gene map of tall person like a Hrithik Roshan. For example, if you take Indian superstar Hrithik Roshan, if uh, the baby, the male baby want to be like a six feet tall, I need an exact gene which indicates which coded about the height of the person. Suppose if the Hrithik Roshan's the code of genes, if it is available for the commercial market purpose, that can be copied and pasted by the medical experts when there is a, what you call the gametes are in the initial stages of development. Okay. So nowadays itself, if you see that in a major cities in a, India, like a Mumbai or a Bangalore or something like that, the date of delivery of the babies are fixed by, not by the doctors. Who is fixing the date of delivery? It is fixed by the astrologers. Astrologers can fix the exact date and time in that time, the C-section or a cesarean, so-called the cesarean, it is being done and the children are taken away from the well woman clinic. The same thing, even before the, the sperm and eggs are joined together, they can go for the genetic engineering in that the particular gene map of that Hrithik Roshan or a tallest person or any of their parents' choice. We can choose that genetic map that can be pointed out, that can be inserted into the gamete so that when the baby is born, the baby will grow exactly as a six feet tall person. Like that, the scientists are predicting it, each and every characteristic features of the human being can be what you call designed. I can uh, design the muscular structure, I can design the size of the nose, I can design the color of the eyes, anything I can do that. In future, we can simply order the baby into the doctor's, doctor's domain. Doctors can design the baby and they can deliver it as per the order, as per the expectation given by their parents. But as of now, this technology is not available. It is a feature-oriented technology with the help of genetic engineering as well as for what you call genetic mapping because these data are right now it is not what you call used for the commercial purpose but the experts are claiming once again this can be done maybe down the line maybe by 2030 these concepts might be viable anywhere in any major part of the world i hope you can understand this through this about the concept of designer baby thank you one and all